Hey, happy Thursday. One more day until the weekend, so that's good. But conditions in El Paso, 86 degrees. Hazy skies, winds out of the south at 7 miles per hour. And similar story for Las Cruces, 86 degrees. Winds also out of the south. Now, I want to get right into the forecast because we have a lot of things to talk about. So we're going to get multiple rounds of rain over the next several days. But for this afternoon, we're going to see most of the rain off to our north and west. We could see maybe TRC getting in on that rain, Silver City and Deming by late tonight. Once again, if you're traveling west, you're going to want to watch out for some flooding. But tomorrow, morning we're going to start to feel the effects of this rain so most of our eastern portions of our area are going to be experiencing some widespread and heavy rain we're, we're seeing the reds the yellows heavy rain we're going to be watching that throughout friday morning we're going to see off and on rain throughout the rest of friday so we'll see by around lunchtime el paso getting that moderate rain and by late uh, friday evening into uh, over night hours, we're going to see widespread rain once again. We're going to have to watch out for some flooding Friday, Saturday, possibly even Sunday. Once again, seeing heavier pockets of rain on Friday evening. Now, by su uh, Saturday morning, we could be tracking an isolated shower or two. Once again, overcast skies, but Saturday looks like it's going to shape up for another day with widespread rain across the area. A lot of moisture in the atmosphere, a lot of heavy downpours are going to be going on. We're going to be watching for that flooding. And, you know, we always stress to you to basically just turn around and don't drown. Look, just six inches of water can reach the bottom of most cars, but once it gets to up to a foot or more, which we've seen even this past weekend, could definitely cause those cars to float. And, you know, it's just a really sad story. So we want to warn you about that whenever that happens. And I'm telling you, flooding will be happening this weekend. So today, 94 here in El Paso, 93 in Las Cruces, 94 in TRC, and 86 in Sierra Blanca. Now, once again, hazy skies. So if you have respiratory issues definitely want to take those precautions so for the next several days we're going to keep that rain chance in and we are looking to issue a first alert for both friday and saturday due to those flooding conditions the good news in this forecast is we are going to be cooling down but once again the not so good news is the flooding so we're going to be keeping you updated on that